So Blackula came out in 1972, has a PG rating, actually, which I was surprised about. Uh, one hour and 33 minute runtime, uh, 5.7 on the IMDb score, a 50 on the tomato meter and a 43 from the audience score, which I was also surprised that the audience score wasn't higher than the tomato meter. Um, it tells the story of an African prince who was turned into a vampire by Dracula and basically finds himself in modern times. And, uh, of course, stars William Marshall. Um, also, uh, Vanita McGee, uh, Denise uh, Nicholas Thalamus. How do you say this guy's name? Dr. Gordon. Know. Is Thalamus Rasulala? I don't know. Anyway, uh, this was my selection for the week. I had never seen Blackula. I think you had mentioned you had seen it a long time ago. Uh, what did you think of the black exploitation horror film Blackula? I liked it. I liked it too. It was, you know, it was different for for a black exploitation film. It was, it had all the the points you had to do with it. Um, it wouldn't be made today without a lot of cleanup of language. Yeah. Uh, um, they, uh, yeah, some of the some of the language was a little little insensitive but that's of the time uh, it was yeah it was of the time so we just move on yeah i kind of liked it i think the biggest <laughs> it was i mean he was he was suave and he had mm-hmm. his you know he was uh he wasn't a he wasn't the meanest vampire we've ever had he, he did what he had to do but he was a little uh vigilante you know in a way but yeah. uh i think the biggest thing that came out of it was when I did the little research, I did not know that he was the king of cartoons from Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that as well, and I did not I, know that. I, I, and I watched Pee Wee Herman, and I saw that guy, and for some reason, I never connected that that was Blackula. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I liked, I thought this was a good black exploitation. This movie had two challenges it had to do, and I think it did both well. It had to be a good black black exploitation film, and it had to be a good horror film. I think it's a better black exploitation film than it is horror film. Yeah, but I think it still did very good with both. Um, I loved uh, Mr. Marshall. I thought, and I know we'll we'll fight about this. We've I've only seen one Christopher Lee movie. But if you ask me who I would prefer to watch another movie of, I would say Blackula is over Dracula for me. William Marshall is above Christopher Lee in the pantheon of, of vampires in my, in my book. Uh, and I know you will fight me on that, I'm sure. But um, it, what I thought was interesting was how that first scene with Dracula, he – that was such a really good scene. And I, it, I, I like this stuff afterwards, but I'm kind of sad that we didn't get more of Dracula because the two of them worked really well together. Yeah. Um, and I thought in some respects, I mean, for the little camera time that he had, Dracula did a great job in, uh, you know, making it memorable. Uh, I love the music. Um, cause like mm-hmm. I said, it felt like that black exploitation era, you know, style of music, but it still felt, kind of horror genre e, which is probably a really hard uh uh you know needle to thread there but i i love the music in this like you said he was kind of a resident uh, not, uh he wasn't he didn't want to be a vampire and he right. he just he wanted to find his his love interest and saw her uh, future self so i thought that was interesting i didn't get why she was really buying it i thought her yeah. Side of it was a little weird, but right. Um, the acting was okay. Would have got Hammer if Hammer just would have loaned out Christopher Lee to have been <laughs> Dracula and turn him in. I'd have been good to go. And I knew I was in for a good black uh, exploitation film when one of the characters' name was Skillet. Right. If yeah. you don't have a skillet, a biscuit, or a ham bone in your movie, forget it. Turn it off. We've watched uh, we watched another black exploitation earlier this year. What was it? One down, two to go, which was not good at all. Which was very disappointing. Yeah, and I, I don't know if it was. I mean, I guess it was intended to be, but I don't. They definitely did not hit the mark of that. Yeah, or um, any other thing. Now I know that this 
launched a lot of other black exploitation horror themed movies. I think they did a Frankenstein and a Mummy, and, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They hit the big ones. Have you seen any of those, and are those I, good? I don't even know what you're talking about at this point. I really didn't know anything. I didn't know this had a sequel even until I researched okay. it, and I'm okay. definitely going to be looking up Scream, Blackula Scream, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. taking taking uh, that in. Is there anything no, you would hit it on? I did not know that there were other... Um, I mean, it makes sense, because that's what Hollywood does whenever they get something right. that was... Because didn't I see that this actually was like the, a top grossing film? Yeah, it was like, I think Variety said it was one of like the top 24 grossing films or something like that at one point. That year, yeah. It was, so it, it did, <laughs> it, it hit its audience and then uh, must have got crossover audience as well. Yeah, who, what are some, I mean, I know some of the later ones, of course, uh, Candyman and um, uh, what's some of the other ones. There's another one that's really looked good like that, but what, what uh, did they actually make a Frankenstein? They, I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. Um, they made uh, a few other ones. Uh, Tell me, it wasn't called Blackenstein, please. It was called Blackenstein. Oh, ouch! So they made. Uh, so there's, of course, like you said, Blackula Scream, Blackula Scream, which was a sequel. Uh, there was a, another movie called, excuse me, American International was also planning a follow-up title, Black Blackenstein, but chose to focus on Scream, Blackula Scream. Blackenstein was eventually produced by Exclusive International Pictures. So there was, but it wasn't by the same crew. So I doubt it was probably handled. I may have to look that up, though. Did you say they did a mummy one, too? I think I saw there was like a few other little bombs. I I don't know. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. But yeah, it was it was really good. I I really enjoy it. Um, It was a takeoff of the mummy. It was called Auntie. Um, oh come on! You, you're from Hampton. You're from Buffalo. You're from Buffalo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I just look. I I thought this was really good. I would absolutely watch this again, and I would put this in a. I would put this in a rotation. I'd watch it again. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in a rotation. Um, because this is, to me, it's not as good as this, but. It's kind of like uh, Black Christmas, which I was very surprised how good that was. And I'm, I'm gonna when we get to Christmas season again this year, I'm gonna watch Black Christmas again because it was that damn good. Um, I'm afraid yeah. to put it in any rotation because I know myself well enough to know I'll start picking it apart then. So I want to leave it as, oh yeah, that was good, and then move on. I'm afraid if I start watching it again, I'll be like, eh, oh yeah, they didn't do that, they didn't do this, and I was boring. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay. So for a 70s movie, uh, we, we, a good movie, um, yeah, and I think this won, uh, oh, never mind, it's some nonsense award that it won, okay. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely recommend it. I'm trying to think, uh, I, I will say, I thought some of the effects were pretty good. They, did, they just did a good job of making a good horror movie, and I was very surprised. Okay, there is a takeoff of... Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay. Or as they're calling Dr. Black and Mr. Hyde, but the movie was called The Watts Monster. So I guess he lived in Watts and... um, Sure. Yeah, when a scientist develops a formula to regenerate dying liver cells, it turns him into an albino vampire with the taste for prostitutes. If that's not gold, it's gold, Jerry. It's gold. (laughs) I have a movie uh, that I own, which is a very low-level production. Uh, it's a movie called Black Devil Doll. And I don't know if I've made you watch it or yes, not or if you've I've seen, seen it. Okay. It's, basi- it's basically Chucky, but he's like a Black Panther uh, instead. And uh, that is – it, it was fun. But this was actually – I mean, this wasn't cheesy, I would say. It was actually a quality movie. <laughs> yeah. And it could have easily t- stepped into cheese, given the the idea behind it. Yeah, here's a Black Frankenstein. It is a 1973 mm-hmm. uh, R8. Eddie is a Vietnam veteran who loses his arms and legs when he steps on a landmine. A brilliant surgeon is able to kill him, but his jealous assistant switches the DNA injections, transforming him into a gigantic killer. Nice. All right, I'll check that out. 
I'm, I'm down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure uh, that that could be interesting, but yeah, it was uh, Black and it is called Black and Do you think? Do you think that Booker T was a, a fan of of Blackula? Because they kept saying, "Can you dig it and suck a lot in this movie?" That's probably where he got it from. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well that that is Blackula. I would recommend it absolutely. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, so definitely go out and check that. I'm happy you enjoyed that movie. And let's go ahead and hop to you.